Hey guys, welcome to Where Nerdy is Cool. My name is Paul, and today I'm going to tell you why I chose the Canon T7i over the less expensive Canon SL2. Alright, so let me start out by saying first and foremost, this is not a review. As you can see, I haven't even unboxed it. I literally bought this last Sunday. Uh, just to let you know what I spent, uh, I bought this from my local Best Buy. I spent $7.99 for the T7i, and I spent $79 for the 128 gig uh, SD card. I had been leaning towards the Canon T7i Creators Kit on Amazon.com. That bundle has the camera, the 32 gig SD card, and the Rode uh, VideoMic Go shotgun microphone. And that's a microphone that you can buy separately for just under $80. And while the, the Creators Kit itself is a good value, I'm leaning towards a, uh, a Rode shotgun microphone that's a bit more expensive and has a few more features than what's included. So I think by going the way I went, I, I got a better deal. Now look, there's a ton of videos on the T7i versus the Canon SL2, and there's a they, they go into a lot of nitty-gritty that is way, way over my comprehension. I'm an intermediate photographer, just doing YouTube videos and taking a lot of pictures of my R2-D2 at events. So I encourage you guys that if you guys are on the fence between the T7i and the SL2, definitely check out some of those videos. I think Media has a few good ones out there as well, too. Uh, those are some of the ones that I really liked. So definitely take a look and see which ones work for you. All right, so let me tell you some of the reasons I decided to go with the Canon T7i. Uh, first, the, the price didn't make much difference to me whatsoever. Uh, if anything, the lower price had me kind of skeptical. Um, at that price point, it's kind of uh, a couple of notches above a point and shoot, but uh, I had no problem spending a little bit of extra money to get the 7i uh, once uh, I had a chance to uh, learn about the additional features, which I'll continue to talk and, and tell you about those. Um, one of the things a lot of the reviews talk about is the weight of the camera, uh, how the SL2 is lighter than the T7i. And they mentioned how it's very good for vlogging uh, because you know you wanna have the camera to carry around while you're, you're doing your vlog. And I know there are some very popular vloggers that use some very elaborate setups, but that's not something I do. Uh, I'm usually at the desk or at the printers or doing various projects with my cameras. So that wasn't even a consideration for me. Um, if I was gonna do vlogging like that, I'd probably invest in like a GoPro uh, Carmen Grip with a, uh, a GoPro Hero 6, especially now that the prices have been reduced. So if that was a consideration for me, I think I would lean towards you know the, the GoPro solution uh, than the SL2 you know being lighter. So that the, the weight meant nothing to me. So the next big consideration for me, and this has been huge in a lot of the reviews, is the focus system. Now both cameras use the exact same focus system in video mode, and they both have the same image processors. There's a little bit of difference as far as how fast they can do burst mode and photography, and th this is where it gets a little tricky for a lot of people, because the biggest difference is when you're using the camera in photo mode. So video, they're pretty much side by side, but when you get into the role of photography, the T7i has a lot more features. It has the 45 point uh, focus uh, setup, um, the, the SL2 does not have that. So that to me was, was kind of a big deal because as someone that's going from a rank beginner, uh, from a T3i uh, into something more advanced, uh, th that's a big deal for me. I definitely want to be able to take advantage of the uh, improved focus system uh, that this camera offers. So that was a, a big deal for me. And as I just mentioned, I have a Canon uh, T3i and for me, uh, going to the T7i and a lot of the, uh, the way it's set up for beginners and, and intermediates to, to learn how to use the camera, uh, to me, it's just a natural progression to go from a T3i into this T7i and, and learn much more about photography and video and how to take advantage of the technology, the new image processor, the new focus setup, uh, and things like that. So I think, if anything, this camera is gonna help me improve. And finally, and I'm really, really nitpicking on this one, but this has been pointed out in, in the reviews and videos I've seen. The, just like the T3i has, the T7i, you can access the, the SD card from the side door. 
With the SL2, you have to essentially uh, remove the bottom. If you have a tripod, you might have to remove that. Uh, you have to open the door and the, uh, the SD card is tucked away in there next to the battery. Now, if your camera spends a lot of time on the tripod, like mine does, that's a huge annoyance. And well, most people would say that's really not a make or break for me. In accumulation with the focus system and, and a few other things, uh, I, I think the SL2 would definitely drive me nuts in that regard. Uh, if not nuts, it would definitely be an annoyance. So again, that was, again, I'm being really, really fussy here, but obviously I know me and that's the kind of thing that would probably drive me a little crazier than I already am. So those are my reasons for purchasing the T7i. I would love to hear your opinions in the comment section below. And in the description, I have links to Amazon for the T7i, the SL2, and the SD card that I purchased. Yes, those are affiliate links, so if you do use those, those help yours truly in this fledgling little YouTube channel to get some better equipment, so thank you very much. And as you can see over here on the right side of the screen, this is the button you click to subscribe. I invite you to do so, so you don't miss any of my videos. And I just want to remind you that this is where nerdy is cool.